Kevin David Rail here, Chief Fitness Advisor for Why Warrior Nutrition. This is Highly Explosive Fitness, episode number eight. And today we're going to talk about a fun little subject that a lot of you women out there want to pay particular attention to. And we're going to talk about how to maintain your boobs and your AE double hockey sticks, also known as your boobs and butt, or let's just be politically correct and call it your curves, while you lose weight at the same time. As a personal trainer, I've trained hundreds of women over my career, and I've gotten this complaint and this question and this concern from a lot of women out there. Two biggest concerns I get are, I don't want to get big and bulky, and I want to lose weight, but I don't want to lose my boobs and butt. Okay, so let's talk about the latter. In the former, maybe we'll talk about that in a whole other episode of this show, but I want to address that. So how can you lose weight while maintaining your curves? That's the key thing. That's what we want to hear about. Okay, so here's the thing. Oftentimes, we get too hell-bent on doing tons and tons of cardio every single day of the week. So, is cardio good for you? Yes. I don't think cardio is bad for you. Does cardio burn calories and fat? Yes, it absolutely does. Don't believe the influencers out there and the experts out there that tell you cardio makes you fat. Cardio does not make you fat, okay? That is an absolute bold-faced lie. It does not make you fat. However, if you overdose on cardio, you will get flat and you will get soft, okay? Muscle gain is the absolutely most important factor of everything across all dimensions, especially as you age. I don't care if you're a man, woman, or however you identify as, muscle is important. Remember that. Weight training is important. So, to lose weight while maintaining your curves, which would be your boobs and butt, let's focus on those two areas. Think about it. What you want to do is you want to build your chest muscles, and all you women out there too, you want to build your pecs under your breasts, okay? You want to target them from three or four different angles and areas so you can build as much muscle as you possibly can behind your breasts, which are also going to keep them lifted, I might add, as you age, which is also a smoking gun tip I'm going to throw at you. So do exercises like bench presses from a flat position, bench presses from an incline position, decline bench presses, flies, push-ups, all different angles of chest exercises. Do those. Put them in your program. As far as your butt goes, there's tons of exercises you can do. Deadlifts, squats, lunges, Bulgarian split squats. There's a bunch of them. Um, hip raises, kickbacks, all kinds of different things that you can do to work your butt. So, number one is do weight training and make sure to focus on those two areas that you don't want to lose. Make them as bulky and strong as you possibly can and it's gonna benefit you in other ways other than just maintaining your curves, okay? So that's number one. And when you build muscle, it's going to cause your metabolism to rise as well. So if you build muscle throughout your whole entire body, you're gonna build more muscle and you're gonna raise your metabolism and you're gonna burn more fat, okay? So do general weight training, but definitely do focus weight training too that targets the areas that you want to stay curvy on, which are your glutes and your chest. Okay, those are like two tips, maybe three. I rolled into one. Now, cardio, yes, but don't do the long three-hour cardio sessions every single day of the week. If you want to do the long cardio sessions and you're a cardio junkie, I understand that, or if you become a cardio junkie. But if you really want to maintain your curves, I would highly suggest doing high intensity interval training. I did a video um, a couple times, a couple days ago, maybe a week ago or so, talking about the benefits of high intensity interval training on a treadmill. You can use a treadmill or you can use a spin bike or you can use an elliptical trainer or a Jack, uh, Jacob's Ladder, which I really like, or any type of cardio machine or the great outdoors to do interval training. And I suggest doing really high intensity 20 to 30 minute sessions two to three times a week on non-consecutive days of your weight training, all right? So what this is going to do is it's going to boost your metabolism through the roof and it's not going to have you burn so many calories that you're going to risk going into catabolism burning your hard-earned muscle at the same time and you won't get that really soft look and you won't burn so much fat you're going to lose your curves at the same time however you're going to get the benefits of the high intensity of the exercise which is going to boost your metabolism when you're done working out so you're going to burn more calories efficiently after your workouts so high intensity interval training you start with a light warm-up five minutes ten minutes it doesn't matter and then you hammer it as hard as you can for say 20 seconds, 30 seconds, all the way up to 60 if you can work your way to that far. And then you just do like a one-to-one -one ratio of work to rest. So hammer it really hard for 20 seconds, go light for 20 seconds. Hammer it for 20, go light for 20. Work your way up to 30 and 30, work your way up to 45 seconds hard, and then 20 seconds rest. So get your high intensity intervals higher than your low intensity intervals. And remember, the higher your intensity workouts, the shorter duration they can be. So if you do like say 10 intervals with a warm up for five minutes and a cool down for five minutes at the end of the workout, You've just done 30 minutes of beautiful, glorious work, okay? So to, re to rephrase what I just told you, do weight training generally throughout your whole body to try to build more muscle to, improve, to increase your metabolism without sacrificing too much size in your body. Focus on heavy training when it comes to your chest and your butt because you want those areas to be bigger. Do high intensity interval training workouts in the cardio fashion two or three days a week on alternating days of your weight training. So we got those tips out of the way, okay? Now, let's talk about 
fasting. I highly suggest you work out in a fasted state because if you work out in a fasted state, 12 hours plus, your human growth hormone levels are gonna be higher. Yes, everybody's got human growth hormone. So we wanna maximize that to build lean muscle mass. So that's gonna help you build more muscle mass and it's gonna help you preserve your body as well without cutting in too much fat and it's gonna accelerate your fat loss without going too far, too overboard. And don't do like three days of fast water fasting. That's if you're like really looking to lose a ton of weight at the same time. I suggest 14 to 16 hours a day of fasting, two meals, three meals tops, no snacks in between. Try to drink just water. That's gonna accelerate your process right there, okay? So I don't know how many tips I gave you, four? I'm gonna give you one more. Try to get enough sleep. Yeah, right? You never would've thought of that. If you don't get enough sleep, if you get three hours of sleep, if you get four hours, five hours, every single night of the week, your hormones are gonna be thrown way off whack. Your ghrelin and leptin are gonna be all over the place the next day, and ghrelin is your hunger stimulating hormone. And if hunger stimulating hormone is high, what's gonna happen? You're gonna be under the scrutiny of hunger, and you're gonna to wanna to eat, and you could blow your diet to smithereens. Try to keep everything balanced by getting adequate sleep at night, okay? Seven to eight hours, that's not a big ask, I don't think. Go to bed earlier if you can. Um, if you can't, Get that much sleep. Try to take a power nap in the afternoon. Whatever you can do to try to keep your hormones in balance, that's the key thing. That's what we always want to think about, all right? These tips I gave you might sound random when it comes to losing weight and maintaining your curves, but I'm telling you, this is, from all of the people I've researched and all the people I've trained in the past and worked with, these are the things that I found out that worked most effectively, okay? So there you have it. This is Kevin David Rail. You are watching Highly Explosive Fitness, and this is Wild Warrior Nutrition. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to hit me up anytime.